proximal insertion of the sarcoides. As we saw in the anatomy, what we're going to do once we we're able to perpendicularly palpate that muscle is we're going to drop to the lateral side of it. So we're going to find that lateral border of the sartorius. And we're going to palpate in that little crevice and we're going to perpendicularly palpate in there to try to find the insertion of the rectus femoris. Okay? Really, really important for anterior hip injury, this, this particular combination. So a lot of times, particularly in your, um, your runners or your hockey players, soccer players even, they often get a lot of anterior hip pain, okay? And when you're assessing the hip, what you'll often find is if you bring the hip up into flexion, they'll complain of a, of a sharp sort of catching or, or jolting kind of pain, okay? Obviously, you want to rule out anything interarticular, so any labral tears or ligamentous tears of the hip. But once you've done that, what you can you can really narrow it down to is that, that deeper insertion of the rectus femoris. The importance being is that it actually attaches to the front of the hip capsule. Okay? So what we're actually doing when we bring the hip up into flexion is we're getting that femur to roll in the, in the socket and then come up this way. We're actually pinching that part of the rectus femoris between the femur and the acetate. Does that make sense? Can everyone visualize that mechanically? So a lot of times what we'll, what we'll find is they'll get that pinching kind of pain. What we'll do is we'll go in, we'll find our sartorius, our rectus femoris, we'll release any tension that we may feel on those muscles, okay? And then we'll reassess. A lot of times what will happen is that pinching pain will go away, okay? And then you're pretty much almost by inclusion saying that it's, it was a rectus femoris insertion type problem on the hip capsule, okay? Any questions about that? Okay. So, to, to find our way down the rectus femoris, what we're going to do, just like we did with the sartorius, is we're going to put the muscle on the...